Young Esteban in the story discovered a city in the sky. It's not all imaginary. A place like that really did exist. When the Incas were beaten by the Spanish army, they abandoned their city, Cusco, and fled deep into the mountains to build themselves a new royal city where they hoped the Spaniards couldn't find them, and it's still there. If you go by train today, a three-hour journey from Cusco, you'll cross the valley of the Urubamba River. It's a wonderful journey with spectacular mountain views. The train climbs up a steep valley, then suddenly on top of a cliff, almost as if floating in the air, there is a huge fortress city of Machu Picchu. This is where the Incas took refuge from the Spaniards. They built temples and houses and terraced fields, a huge city where 15,000 Inca people could live. The Spaniards never found it. Eventually, the Incas abandoned it. And for 350 years, everyone forgot even where it had been built. And the great city of Machu Picchu became a mere legend. Then in 1911, a young American archaeologist, Hiram Bingham, climbing in the mountains, came across this marvelous place quite by chance. He must have thought he had truly found an ancient city of gold. This wonderful city had its dark, mysterious secrets. No one knows why or when the Incas abandoned it, or what dark tragedy overtook these proud people. In this underground cave, more than a hundred mummified bodies were found. Most of these are young girls. Perhaps they were part of some religious cult, or perhaps they were the wives of warriors gone away to war, who never came back. Were they put to death in order to preserve the secret hiding place of the city of gold? No one knows, just as no one knows why this great city was abandoned or how it came to be forgotten for all those years. Goodbye. Till next time.